Yeah. It's Breast Field Day, 2010, July 14th. My spouse just went to work. It rained a lot. We got several inches of rain around 2 o'clock this afternoon. Now it's around, I guess, 3.15. And I hear this rushing noise. And there's already several inches of water down here in the basement. Um, we do have a problem with flooding here. I'm going to have a look. Oh man. I don't know where that water's coming from, but a lot of it's coming. Holy moly. Looks like the elevator is uh stuck. So I've got to climb back up the stairs. Oh my god. We have two levels of um parking garage down below here in this building. And it's kind of funny because well, not funny, weird. In this building, um, this is what's called a Cartier Chaud. Literally hot neighborhood. You know, it's kind of bad. You know, see these housing projects across the street. They're going to be demolished next year and replaced because these buildings <coughs> across the street are about 50 years old and it's time to get rid of them. The building I live in is um, a private building. It's neither a condo nor a co-op, sort of a hybrid, because we're not under Anglo-Saxon law here, and, you know, real estate is different here. There's no title search company or anything like that. You use what's called a notaire here to buy real estate, and uh, that's not a notary public. They don't need notary publics here because we are not under Anglo-Saxon law. You can just take a piece of paper, and write in French, I, so-and-so, swear that blah, blah, blah. And that's your word of honor. And if you break it, you're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> I've heard that, um, let's see if the elevator works. I really doubt that it does. Oh my God, it does. Oh, that's really scary. Well, I'm not taking that elevator. No way. Hmm. Ah, oh, here comes the neighbor. Oh, uh, so what did they say? Well, anyway, everybody who, li like, our apartment is more like a condo than anything else. Although we share the expense of the water and the heat and stuff. And, um,. We all share in having a concierge. And, uh. Écoutez! C'est quoi? C'est l'horreur du canalisation. Ok, c'est l'orage, c'est tout. Oui, c'est l'horreur. Il y en a partout, les conflits sont partout. Oh là là! J'ose pas prendre l'ascenseur. Ouais. Ok, bonne chance. All right. See, like, you know, in a co-op apartment in the United States, you don't actually own the apartment. You own shares in a corporation. And the number of shares you own is based on the square footage of the apartment. And in this apartment that we have, we actually do own the apartment. And we can pretty much rent it out to whomever we like, within reason, I guess, as long as they're not annoying or whatever. And because I'm only on the first floor, which would be uh, the second floor in the USA, um, I guess I could sell or rent this apartment as a professional space. Although, we had some doctors next door in the building. And it was kind of a problem because... Um, Oh, frankly, they were script crookers. They moved down the street. And uh, there were just so many people um, coming to visit them all the time to get, you know, drugs, really. 
and the elevator was getting used a lot and there were people hanging out in the hallway smoking cigarettes. I'm reattaching my keys to my great L.L. Bean handbag. I really love it. Only $45. Let's see. It's dark in here. And uh, so we eventually asked them to move. So they moved down the block. They're still in the neighborhood. See, a lot of things are illegal here in France, such as you can get pure opium powder here on prescription. It's a painkiller. So there is a legitimate market for opium, of course, and, and, and morphine. Um, the medicine is called lamaline, and it's just a non-aspirin substitute. My orchids aren't doing very well. And uh, some caffeine and pure opium powder. <laughs> And you you can't get amphetamines here in France, but, you know, you can get, you know, a lot of other things. A lot of other things. Well, the web bot predicted torrential rains this summer. And what we just had was pretty scary. I thought at one point it was a full-blown tornado. Although the sky didn't have that orangey tint that I used to see back in Ohio where I come from and which we did see here the day after Christmas in 1999. Two enormous tornadoes ripped, one across the north of France, one across the south of France, in different directions, I believe. And um, there were 300 million trees destroyed. It was quite an ecological disaster. All right, so this is Wednesday, and it's Bastille Day, just outside of Paris, France. And I am home alone, and I didn't sleep last night. Uh, it's a long story. J'ai des soucis. Okay. See you later.